fitness centers need someone to evaluate and organize the programs they offer. Our next guest does all that and more. She also encourages kids with mobility challenges to get active, to have a happy and healthy life. Today we meet a recreation director. Hi, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Marnie. Nice to meet you. Let me show you around. Great. I'm Marnie Abbott-Peter. I'm recreation director in Vancouver, BC. I'm the director of the Let's Play program, which is part of the BC Wheelchair Basketball Society. A typical day would involve me going to the office and doing a bit of administration work. Sometimes I get to go to visit kids at schools or in community centers. I'd be coaching in the evenings. It involves planning and preparing for a variety of different activities depending on the day and then implementing them. So is all of your time spent out here on the court? No, there's quite a bit of office work involved as well. A lot of planning, like we were talking about earlier, facilities booking, budgeting, assessing programs. And one of the biggest pieces is communication, whether it's with athletes, participants, sponsors, coworkers, other coaches. Of course. The hours are super flexible. Some days I might come in at noon, other days we start earlier in the morning. There is a lot of overtime, weekends, evenings are involved, but it's really a fun job and there's lots of exciting things to do. There's actually a variety of different types of training you could have. There's recreational therapy, event management, sport management. My coach education has come through the NCCP program, which is Canada's national certification program. Other people have been able to rely on their own experience as athletes or their previous experience in other fields and being able to translate some of those skills over to the sport and recreation field. Sport and recreation is constantly changing and growing and so there's always new things to be learned in the field. There's great opportunities for professional development in terms of educational seminars, coaching education, on-the-job experience, and you actually learn a lot from the participants and the people that you're working with as well. So with your career, you're not just coming out and telling people what to do, you're actually designing a program as well. Yeah, so depending on the level of the athletes or the participants, uh, we'll have a specific plan and a program. Some of the higher performance things, we have more of a seasonal plan. With some of the more developmental groups, we work on fitness and conditioning, as well as building some of the fundamental skills that they need to play the games. You're custom making a program depending on what it is that you need to be able right. to. Right. It's really important to be able to solve problems and to kind of be able to change things on the fly. Being in a job like this, you have to be able to adapt and be really innovative in terms of what you're offering and understanding who the demographic is that you're working with. A leadership, I think, is really important in terms of being able to manage yourself. A lot of the time, you're working on your own or you're having to lead a group. Having those leadership skills helps you gain the respect that you need in order to do your job. Tara's going to show you one of the skills we do to practice agility and okay. speed. Yeah. Really important in this game, and Tara's really great at it, so yeah. she'll show you how it's done, and then you can give it a try. Okay, great. So really quick turns, okay. really works on your agility, speed, and endurance. Pull back, and spin, and around. There you go. Uh, yeah. Close, without running you over there. Yeah, that's close. That's a good workout, yeah. <laughs> okay, now how about some little bit of speed add to that? I'm constantly giving advice. Understanding how people are receiving that is really important in order to make sure that the communication is clear and concise and whether it's verbal or written, it's required on a daily basis. There's lots of different opportunities depending on what you're interested in. Be more of an administrative position, you could become a coach. There's programming positions available. You can have lots of opportunities to change what you're doing or to change your focus. The advice I would give to someone considering a career in this field is to go for it. It's the best field to work in. It's so rewarding on a daily basis to help people get involved and to get active and to see them enjoying and improving their quality of life. It's just a fantastic way to make connections, make friends, and to help improve people's lives. Marnie, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. Take care. You too. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Track, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.